What's up guys? Today we are going to do a new challenge, a challenge that I didn't see in any other YouTube channel, so maybe it, it might be very good, but we'll see your reaction in the future. So this challenge is, is to try to get as many certificates as possible only one one day. It starts from it's now 10:30 a.m. until 10:30 p.m. I should admit I have already some skills in some programming languages, so it wouldn't be learning from scratch uh, this is not the case that I, I don't know anything I, and I want to learn that from scratch some of them I know for example Python C C++ some parts in C sharp JavaScript Scala Prolog so on I know some stuff so it's not from scratch of course but I want to gather as much uh, certificates as, as possible in only 12 hours so this is the first part of this series after that I'm going to try to break my record so the challenge name is how many certificates can I get in one day challenge so hopefully I can get more than 10 that would be great if I have double digits I will be super happy before the start of the video I should also remind you of the giveaway that will happen when this channel reaches 1000 subscribers so the giveaway will be two airpods one regular airpod and one airpod pro how can you participate in this giveaway the only things that you should do in order to be in this giveaway is to first subscribe to the channel second like the videos three comment on a video so you go to a video you already subscribe then like and comment and then that would be one chance for you to win these giveaways naturally if you like and comment more than one video you have more chance to win these giveaways try your chance okay so now that i told you again about the giveaway we can start the challenge the platform that i use for these certificates is coursera i will also put the link of each course in the description of this video so let's get started so we will start with uh, some python courses with python so first one uh, that we are going to do is Python 101, develop your first Python program. One important point for Coursera is that some courses apparently doesn't have certificates, so be careful. This one has a shareable certificate on uh, LinkedIn, uh, so let's get started. Okay, the second one is uh, concepts in Python loop functions and return. So let's do that very easily, very fast. Okay guys, we did it. <laughs> This is the second one, again with 100%. This is the certificate. Let's do the next one. Uh, okay guys, this is the next one that I'm going to, to do. Python for data analysis and pandas and numpy. So these two are very useful, especially in data, data mining, data analysis, AI, machine learning, everything. Of course, this is in the beginner level, so I don't think uh, this would be a challenge for me, but if you want to do a lot of things with them, uh, first of all, you can. And second of all, they have a lot of functions so it can it can be confusing sometimes so you have to know what you're doing in there so let's get started okay guys this is the third one we did it. I finished this one as well with 100% score. Everything is fine. Let's continue. I think I will get the double digit today. It depends how many uh, easy courses I can find. We'll see. We'll see. So next course that I will do is exploratory data analysis with Python and Pandas. Uh, so this is pretty much what I did uh, in the university. So this should be also easy. But uh, we'll see. It also has a certificate. So why not? Let's, let's do it. Ok 
Okay guys, we did it again. This is the fourth one. It, it was a little bit more challenging because um, yeah, I, I didn't do this for a while. I was going to uh, start to forget some stuff. This is the fourth certificate. I got 80%. I just answered uh, a part of one question. Uh, so it was only five questions and I uh, missed one. Uh, but yes, yeah, it's, it's still acceptable and uh, I still have the certificate, so that's fine. It's here as you can see. So let's move on to the next one. This is the fifth one. So this one is a little bit different because I have no idea what is task is. I never made a web application with Python. So that is uh, that is at least a new thing to, to learn. We are in the Coursera, we are getting some certificates. Also learn some new stuff as well because I already knew all of this stuff that I had certificate for, but now I will uh, learn. Let's get it started. This is actually very exciting. Uh, I'm I'm currently in the middle of it. It's very good. I didn't expect we can do something like. I mean, I could guess because we can do backend with it with Python, but I couldn't think we can just do uh, some things uh, in front as well. But it's very good. It's very good. Uh, yes. So let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, guys. So I also made it for this one as well. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. This was very interesting. This was very interesting. It, it took a lot of time, but it was very interesting. I passed with 100%, so I'm very happy. Uh, oh, sorry, this is not the one. Uh, yeah, so I passed with 100% and uh, very happy about it. And uh, so let's start another, another course. I'm very tired. I have a crazy headache, but uh, we will continue until, until night, 11 p.m. maybe. Uh, it depends. I mean, uh, the rule is that I have 12 hours, but I can finish earlier if I think I cannot continue because that is also a part of my limitation. I'm a human, I cannot work 20 hours. Uh, so I probably have some breaks and this is also acceptable because, well, this is a challenge that uh, I have 12 hours, but it doesn't mean that I have to work all of it. I should just uh, do as much work as possible for me. So yeah, let's um, let's let's do that. Uh, let's go to the next course. Okay, so this is the next course that I'm going to take. Okay, guys, so next course is uh, Chat GPT with Python. Build the chatbot with the OpenAI app, API. That should be very easy. Uh, let's start see what's happening. There was another uh, and. ChatGPT course here that was one hour so I at, at first I wanted to take that but um, it didn't have a certificate so and we want a certificate uh, we want to uh, this is the purpose of the challenge I mean certificates certificates are mostly not important when you are um, working or you are doing different stuff because the thing that matters is is that how much do you know not the certificate that you have but the purpose of the video is to uh, gather some certificates and uh, that's what we are doing so yeah this one uh, this one has a certificate but uh, again because we are using the ChatGPT api here uh, this course is also uh, using ChatGPT openai api so uh, this is including that one as well and it has a certificate so we will use this one let's go got this as well it wasn't as easy as I was expected but it was okay I got uh, 100% the, the previous one was more uh, challenging and uh, it was more elegant it was better it was better it was more interesting I enjoyed that one more but this one was also this one was also good so yeah I got uh, the thing that I needed uh, this one was the sixth one let's go for the uh, for the seventh one I mean I'm seriously tired right now each of these uh, 
approximately takes an hour for me to finish. You might ask yourself that uh, how he's finishing it in one hour, because most of them are, are two hour courses. Well, I, I, I just watched the videos um, in 2x instead of normal speed and the first couple of the, uh, the courses, maybe the first three, they were so easy and I knew them by heart so uh, I didn't uh, watch the videos very carefully, I didn't watch them uh, completely because I knew them and I just straight went to the tests. But uh, the last three uh, I was watching the videos and it, it, took, it took some time. Uh, but we will see how much I can continue. So let's continue, let's continue, let's see uh, how long I can continue doing this. This one was the sixth one. Let's go for this number seven. Uh, so the next training that I want to do is uh, COVID-19 data analysis using Python. This is just another use case of the, uh, like I, th I think it, it would be NumPy and the Pandas, maybe scikit-learn library, but it, it, will be, uh, it will be more than uh, the things that I already learned. I think this would be very easy for me as well. It is 100 minutes, but I think I will finish it in about 15 minutes because I, I worked specifically specifically in uh, having data, training models, analysis data, um, all this kind of stuff uh, in, in university, especially for my masters. So I think that would be a piece of cake for me. See you after I finish this course. one and uh, <laughs> oh this this one uh, took uh, more than I expected I was expecting like 15 minutes it took like um, more more than that um, but yeah I, I got 96.66 percent so I'm happy about that I probably have a uh, small break because I'm dying right now and uh, then go for the 8 9 and 10 uh, and so on my aim was double digits so okay so see you in a bit so uh, we will go for the eighth one maybe this was too too ambitious to learn uh, to get 10 certificates you can get 100 certificates if you want if you want I'm actually trying to learn something I'm not just getting the certificate because in in the for the future, uh, I mean, certificates can help you for for finding a, a good position in a good company. But certificates are valuable when are also good at something as well. So then the certificates are also good because you know something, you have the certificate for it. It's not fake, you know. Let's do uh, training number eight, game theory with Python. This is uh, this is a topic that I like very much. Uh, so it's complete now um, this was the eighth one um, I completed this and then had had a small break we will continue this is the mar this is a marathon we will continue so I am thinking about uh, having uh, something related to machine learning so I will probably go for this one this one is also easy I worked with it a lot let's begin Number nine is also complete. As I guessed, um, it was it wasn't hard it, because I, I worked with this a lot, even in my bachelor's thesis. So uh, it was okay. It was okay. Everything was smooth. This was one of the courses that I just 
knew everything and I just uh, got the certificate. It didn't take uh, that much time. Let's go for number 10. Let's start number 10. For number 10, I was thinking about the image processing with Python. This, this is this is not my expertise. I mean, I did image processing in Python, but uh, I just did it um, like with help of documentation. This is, I think, a good thing that I can also learn. And I, I had a very small break, so I'm, I have energy to continue. This is number 10. This is the point that I said I want to achieve. And, I think I can get until like two or three more. I still had the headache, but uh, it's, it's a little bit less now because I had the resting. And I only had the breakfast this morning. I skipped the lunch, so I'm also hungry. So <laughs> uh, that's also can cause the headache. Yeah, we are we are doing it. I will complain. I will continue. I will continue until the point that I I really can't. Let's let's start the image processing with Python. Here we are again. This one was also very easy. I didn't expect that. And uh, actually, I know why because I had a project for deep learning course that was image processing, but with deep learning and stuff. But in the way we were using these stuff as well. So now I remember why it was easier than I was expected. And apparently, I, I remembered uh, some of the stuff that I used there. So that is that is nice because I at the time I was just using them. I didn't know why what is happening, but I was remember. But this is not over. We are going to continue. Uh, I'm not going to stop now. I. I will continue bigger numbers okay so for the next one i think i will choose so i think i will do this Yeah, number 11 is also done. So certificate is here as well. And um, yeah, unfortunately, I think I made a very silly mistake. I know my mistake, but um, yeah, I made it, but I passed, so I didn't retake 88.88. So uh, um, yeah, I, I made a stupid mistake. It's good enough, it's good enough. Doesn't mention in the, but this one is very interesting. I mean, I, I know that as well, I had the deep learning course. Let's go. Number 12 is over. Yes. <laughs> I will continue, I will continue, maybe one or two, maybe two more, maybe one more, I mean I can do the next one and see if I can still do anything. The next one, I will do this that is also related to, to my studies, this is also should be done very fast. Uh, so guys, uh, <laughs> here it is. I actually like number 13 for some reasons. Always I have number 13. And uh, even in my student uh, numbers, the student card numbers, uh, it was always 13 everywhere. And I like it. I actually like number 13. Um, so we can finish here because as you can see, even for this that I'm pretty sure I know everything about and like thousands of times. I got 80%. I, I just passed, as you can see, the, the CPU is hot in here and also in the computer. So <laughs> it's it's crazy hot. Okay, guys. Uh...
thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe like if, if you like this video comment if you were interested in, in this kind of series i will continue with other programming languages today the challenge was only for python so this was python edition if you liked it if you liked it i will continue you can also hit the bell button to make sure you get a notification and every time that i post also remember the giveaway we have a giveaway for 1000 subscribers milestone so don't forget that share with your friends comment and like more videos in order to increase your chance you have to subscribe to the channel first in order to uh, be in the giveaway event again thank you for watching have a nice day and cheers